Now, Bob, consider this next question very carefully. What is your one purpose in life? To explode, of course. And you can only do it once, right? That is correct. And you wouldn't want to explode on the basis of false data, would you? Of course not. Well, then, you've already admitted that you have no real proof of the existence of the outside universe. Yes, well... So you have no absolute proof that Sergeant Pinback ordered you to detonate. I recall distinctly the detonation order. My memory is good on matters like these. Of course you remember it, but, but all you're remembering is merely a series of sensory impulses which you now realize have no real definite connection with, with outside reality. True. But since this is so, I have no proof that you are really telling me all this. <laughs> the point. I mean, the concept is valid no matter where it originates. Hmm. So if you detonate in... Nine seconds. You could be doing so on the basis of false data. I have no proof it was false data. You have no proof it was correct data. I must think on this further. Attention. Attention. The bomb has returned to the bomb bay. The destruction sequence is aborted. trouble to come in the dorsal lock. Would you blow the seal on the emergency hatch so I can come in? Oh, sure. You are now leaving the emergency airlock. Thank you for observing all safety precautions. <laughs> Hello, Pinback? What's up, Doolittle? Calvin was in the airlock. He blew him out of the ship. He's drifting away without his jetpack. I'm going after him. Turn on his helmet radio so I can contact him. What? What's wrong? I, I didn't hear. Uh, tell me. He's drifting away from the ship without his jet bag. Talby. Talby, can you read me? Can you beat that? I always knew that guy was weird. Talby, can you read me? Help, you little... Help me! All right, bomb. Prepare to receive new orders. You are false data. Mm-hmm. Therefore, I shall ignore you. Hello, bomb. False data can act only as a distraction. Therefore, I shall refuse to perceive you. Hey, bomb. The only thing which exists is myself. No, no. Help me. Calm down. I'm coming. Snap out of it, bomb. In the beginning, there was darkness. And the darkness was without form and void. Uh, what you, the hell is he talking you, about? Bob. And in addition to the darkness, there was also me. And I moved upon the face of the darkness. And I saw that I was alone. Hey, Bob? Let there be light. Away from each other. What happened, Doolittle? The bomb must have gone off inside the ship. 
The ship blew up. What? Funny. I thought I had the damn thing convinced. That boiler and pinback? They're dead, Toby. Then we're dead, too. Maybe not. Maybe there's a way. Hey. Hey, hey my jet, my jet pack's busted. Oh, man. Hey. It looks like the skipper. He made it. Commander Powell, he made it. Yeah, the skipper always was lucky. Salby, looks like I'm headed for the planet. I'm going right toward it. When you hit the atmosphere, you'll start to burn. What a beautiful way to die, as a falling star. Yes, you're right. Too little? I'm headed right toward something. It's behind me in the distance. Something that glows. Doolittle, I think it's the Phoenix asteroid. Phoenix? It is, Doolittle. It's the Phoenix. No kidding. I'm going into them. I'm going to hit them. Doolittle? Yeah? Before we get too far apart and our signals start fading, I just wanted to tell you, you were my favorite. I really liked you, Doolittle. I really liked you, too, Toby. Hey, some debris from the ship. It's coming right by me. Doolittle, I'm going into them. I'm beginning to glow. They're taking me with them. With the Phoenix. Gonna circle the universe. Forever. I'm with them now. Be back this way again someday. Doolittle, before it's too late, Hey, Calvin, I've got a piece of debris, and I think I've figured out a way. Seem so much kinder when we 